The Guardian newspaper's editor-in-chief, Alan Rusbridger, has said that he agreed to a slightly pointless task of destroying the computer hard drives containing the information given by NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden to allow for the continuation of the paper's coverage of the revelations. His other option was to face legal action and surrender the material to UK courts. He also labeled the recent nine-hour detention of David Miranda as part of a campaign of intimidation against his newspaper that has been ongoing ever since it started publishing Snowden leaks in June. Police used an anti-terrorism law to detain Miranda and confiscate his computer equipment. The British government has defended the detention, saying it was right to stop anyone suspected of possessing sensitive stolen information. But Russ Bridger says it's out of line to call the leaked material stolen. Well, all, all journalists, uh, this use of the word stolen is a very l l laden word, if you don't mind me saying so. Um, this is material that was leaked. All journalists handle leaked material, which is, you could call it stolen, or you could call it leaked, or you could say this is the act of a whistleblower. Uh, you couldn't do your job, I couldn't do my job without leaked material. Uh, and so suddenly to get uh, very high and mighty and to say this is stolen material and therefore the police and the terror laws have to be engaged, I think is misplaced. Uh, what we had here was a, uh, a responsible attempt to, uh, to do journalism in difficult circumstances. It's difficult for journalists in the modern world uh, when you know that your phone calls and your emails uh, and all your metadata is available to uh, intelligence services uh, to, do, to do journalism and to carry material uh, responsibly. And that was what was going on here. David Miranda has begun legal action against the British government, labeling his detention as unlawful. Well, whether it was lawful or not is something which uh, is going to be challenged by David Miranda. Uh, but I think the thing that has disturbed the rest of the world and a lot of British journalists and, to be fair, British, ordinary British people, uh, is this uh, use of a terror act uh, to detain somebody who was clearly engaged in journalistic activities and sees journalistic material in a way that has no checks and balances. The Snowden revelations have started a public debate over the fears that the U.S. and the U.K. are on the path to a regime of surveillance that is larger than anything anyone had ever imagined.